Today we're going to show you how to change the lid switch assembly on your washer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, and a 5 16 nut driver. Let me show you how it's done. The first step in this repair will be to remove the power to the appliance. Simply pull the plug. Now the lid switch is located in underneath the main top in this area right here. And there are two screws that are accessible there, but you really have no room to adequately take that part out and replace it. So what we're going to do is pull the whole cabinet away from the washer. It's a fairly easy job. We're going to remove the two end caps, take a couple of screws out, flip that over, and we'll have access to everything. Now with the end caps, just grasp the top, pull it forward. You should be able to wiggle the bottom out. We'll set those aside. Now we have two Phillips screws, one on each side. We remove those. Just roll the console back over the back. Now we have two clips that secure the back panel to the main top. With a flat blade screwdriver, we'll go into the front opening and just press down and forward to release that clip. Next, we're going to remove one Phillips screw from the back panel. This secures the back panel to the side of the cabinet. Next, we're going to lift up on the rear of the cabinet, tilt it towards us, and we'll also lift up on the front, pull it away, slide the whole thing forward. Before we do that, we can disconnect the harness to the lid switch. Sometimes this is easier if you open the lid and just grasp the panel in the middle. Slide it forward. And now we have access to the lid switch assembly from here. We'll remove the two Phillips screws. Hold the lid switch in place while we remove the last screw. And there's a ground screw fastened to the bottom of the main top. We'll remove that. It's a 5 16 hex head screw. And there's a clip that holds that harness in place. Just pull it forward and release the wire from behind it. There's another one across the back. Do the same there.
Now with the flat blade screwdriver, we'll depress the two locking tabs on this harness connector and push the harness connector down through the main top. Now we'll take our new lid switch assembly. We'll insert the harness connector up through from the bottom, making sure that we have the locating tab in the right position. Press that up through until it locks into place. And we'll hook the harness into the first wire clip. Wrap it around the corner. Snap it into the second location. Place that 5 16 screw in the ground wire. Lift the switch into position and replace the two Phillips screws. Make sure we have both screws started in the holes before you tighten any of them. And don't over tighten them or we'll chip the finish on the main top. Now we're ready to reinstall the cabinet. What we're attempting to do is locate the two slotted openings at the rear of the cabinet over two protrusions on the base frame. And there's also two slots at the front that will hook into two protrusions on the front of the base with a little hook on them. And make sure that we get the bottom lip of the front of the cabinet underneath the base frame. So we'll tilt it up slightly. We have a good view in this position. And we'll let it sit back into place. And we'll locate the two tabs on the rear. Make sure they fit down into position. Slide the back panel forward so that the fill spoke goes in place. We'll reconnect the harness connector to the lid switch. Replace the two clamps that hold the back in position. You have to make sure that that cabinet is seated firmly on the base or these clamps won't go into position easily. You should be able to push them in by hand. If not, use your flat blade screwdriver. Curved portion of this clamp is towards the front. Just hook it into the back panel. And snap it into place. Now we can rotate the console forward again. And replace the two Phillips screws. Next, we'll replace the end caps. Position the bottom tab in first. Make sure the two side ones line up with these two slots. And the two top ones 
align up in these two rear ones. Make sure the bottom is pushed firmly in before you try to rotate it into place and then just snap it in position. All that remains is the one screw that secures the back panel to the cabinet. Plug the machine in and our repair is complete.